I have a mother. I have a mother. I have a mother. I have a father. I have a father. I have a father. I have dreams. Remember my face. Remember my face. Remember my face. You are an ocean away. I don't even know your name. My world is here. I do not know you. sing and dance. And I love to sing and dance. with you as closely as possible this afternoon because it's not very often I can come here and I'm an old lady so I may not be able to be around too long please take heed to what I share with you because it is very painful for me to go back into those days but the situation in the world and in the United States regarding the nuclear arms situation is so harsh that I have decided to take my gloves off and actually hat too if it's not that hot. Yes, thank you. And to tell you directly what I saw of the carnage so that you can take with you that it's not just in the pictures you saw in that tent. Here is a living human being who wants to share with you another fellow human being that this is not for human race. It is not to be condoned and kept forever. And let me tell you what I saw. For example, 
the piles of the skull that you saw in the tent in the picture. It could be my relations because we didn't see them back home again. They died on the streets of Hiroshima. They died on the dirt, calling for Kurushi, Kurushi, can't breathe. Mizu kudasai, Mizu kudasai. Not this loud with a microphone, but in a whispering voice. Where I went to look for my mother, they were all black and singed and unrecognizable. Just as I was escaping, my neighbor girl who was beautiful was swallowed twice her face. I was not able to recognize her. It was the same. The skins, the dermis that cover human body were gone for many of us who were outside, like my cousin who was like a brother to me. I was not there because he was at the center looking up at the B-29 that dropped the parachute. However, a classmate who was on the city's limit saw him just recognized from the back of his head. And as you saw the Japanese on the TV screen in this tsunami disaster, you know how Japanese behave. We value our internal code of caring for others. My cousin fell to the ground. He was only 12 years old, but he said, I can't move. But Hara, you go on and save yourself. We acted in the same way we have not changed. The Japanese were Japanese. Without the skin or clothes on our body, we walked, we hobbled, to safety as far as we could, and we fell and we died. And we said, save yourself if you can, move on. So many of the people we left behind said, help, help, the fires were coming, we could not stop to help, and most of the people who didn't have the skin, how could you clear anything? Where's this meat and the bones sticking out? We melted at the center, and our internal organs busted out. How can we help anyone? So in the memorial, annually, we remember and pour on the markers with pure, abundant water. That's why the water pouring ceremony began. However, in our mind's eyes and in our mind's heart, we never could stop hearing the sound of Mizu Kudasai, Kurushi. Somebody who said Kurushi in front of me died in front of me and I was merely a child of sixth grade. How could we forget that? Friends, I call you friends because I know you are here today and remember and support the cause of working towards a future free of nuclear arms. Please remember my words that these are horrific weapon that is only meant to cause carnage, not peace. Dying, death in a horrific fashion. Please don't forget that. I do not speak this fashion all these years, but I began when I found out the billions are being poured into weapons upgrade in the facilities, production places, in the next generation of the weapons that far surpass what we met are in the making as we speak. And as we speak, the plans to go ahead with a Manhattan Project National Park is moving on. You must not allow that. You must not give respect to this way of solving conflict. We are a family of men, aren't we? Let us honor that. Even the Greeks saw the wisdom of our higher nature moving on thousands of years on. We have the knowledge of how to become who we are and who we are meant to be. Please honor 
the gift of life as you are given, each and every one of you here. Do not trash it away with the temptation of acquisitive value culture, which goes after only honoring what you can master to take over. We are to share. We are to understand. We are to honor our gift. You are here only one time. And in this moment is all you have. In next moment, let's not trash it. Let's honor it. Please remember this survivor's words. Thank you.